All right. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. And I'm so glad that you clicked on this link and join us today. Please subscribe, hit the bell, give us a thumbs up. My name is Pastor Andrew Alexander, the pastor of Healing Word Church here in Bender, Texas. Uh, we are currently meeting in Best Western, 711 Main Street at 11 a.m. on Sundays, okay? Praise the Lord. You're so welcome. This is your invitation to come and visit us. Well, today I'm going to talk about the zodiac sign. So I'm going to go through a couple a couple areas where demonic activity happens or where the demons can enter into your life. And I know a lot of people believe that the zodiac signs are are nothing. I mean, well, I was young. I, I was with everybody else and, uh, you know, did the little zodiac and everything. I was supposed to be a Leo and all this other thing, you know. But I'm not going to get into the whole history of the zodiac sign. I'm not going to do all that. But what I am going to do, I am going to talk about it uh, from the Bible standpoint. And this is something that God does not want us to be involved in. Because it causes us to be disobedient unto the Lord. And remember, disobedience is just simply sin. You know, he doesn't want us to do these things. And and the zodiac signs, you know, they are created by man, and man come up with ideas of how uh, you're supposed to act. So if I'm a Leo, I'm supposed to get along with certain people, I'm supposed to act a certain way, I'm supposed to have these certain traits. And, you know, that's what they came up with. That's what man came up with. Well, you know, I am a child of God. I am a child of God. And I am made in the image and the likeness of my father. You know, not, not what these people came up with, with this Zodiac. So I got a couple scriptures here that I'm going to read, okay? So uh, let's go. I'm like two of them. Uh, Deuteronomy 4, 15 through 19. So let me read through it. It says, You saw no form of any kind the day the Lord spoke to you at Hebron out of the fire. So this is when the children of Israel went up to the mountain. Of the Lord, you know, when they first met the Lord, they didn't see a, 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 a image or a, a form, a person, or anything of the Lord, right? That's what it said. Therefore, watch yourselves very carefully so that you do not become corrupt and make yourselves an idol, an image of any shape, whether formed like a man or a woman, or like any animal on the earth, or any bird that flies in the air. Or any creature that moves along the ground, or any fish in the water below. So he's saying that you shouldn't make no no image of anything. Don't um, create something to worship. And that's basically what it's saying. God's saying you didn't see. I didn't give you anything. You know, I didn't give you an image, or I didn't come down like a certain thing or anything like that. He didn't do that. He, they heard a voice, you know, they heard a voice. And so he said, be careful and don't create something to worship. And that's what a lot of people do. They, they create things to worship. You know, a lot of Christians, we use a cross. I mean, a cross, I mean, I don't, you know, after you really study that, the cross is a place of death, okay? Jesus died on the cross. Maybe it represents uh, you dying for the Lord or whatever. But we're not supposed to worship that cross, okay? Let me finish reading. And it says, And when you look up to the sky and see the sun, the moon, and the stars, and all the heavenly array, do not be enticed to bow down to them and to worship things the Lord your God has appointed to all the nations under heaven. So he said, Don't worship those things you know we get into these uh zodiac signs and everything and we just take it as gospel it's really not gospel i mean we it's not gospel you know and we believe in those things we believe that these things have something to do with our life and 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 a lot of times people they will read the horoscopes and everything and say oh man today i'm not supposed to do this or do that you know no 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 we get our direction from the Lord. That's why we go before the Lord. We pray and say, Lord, what should I do today? Who should I get in contact with? Or whatever. You know, have God in the midst of all of your business, you know. 
and uh, do it that way. But don't trust these things. These things are demonic. What these zodiac things do is to take your focus, take your worship, take your inquiry off of the Lord. That's what they do. They take it off. So, so you'll, you'll do something other than go to God. God wants you to come to him for everything that you need. He wants you to come to him. He wants you to seek his face, and he'll give you the answer. He'll provide those things for you, and not this zodiac. Because you know, zodiac is written by men. It's written, a lot of times, I, I read some stories somewhere, and I would have to go look it up. You know, a lot of witchcraft, a lot of people, witches and stuff, write these little zodiacs. You know, and we go read them and believe them. So we got to be very careful. My next scripture is Deuteronomy. Uh, 17, 2 and 3. So it says, If there be found among you within any of the gates which the Lord thy God giveth thee, man or woman, that hath walked wickedness in the sight of the Lord thy God, and transgressing his covenant, and have gone and served other gods, and worshipped them, either the sun or the moon, or any of the hosts of heaven, which I have not commanded. And see, that's what you're doing with Zodiac. You're worshiping. I know you, you may think it's an innocent thing. It, it really isn't in the eyes of the Lord. He's Because he's telling you right here, don't have anything to do with that. They're stars. God created the stars for our, our pleasure so we can look up and enjoy them. Uh, the stars also help us, you know, if you was a sailor or something at night, to guide you. And all these other things. But they're, they're created just like we are created. They are they have no power. They have nothing can help you. You know, they, they, they don't do anything like that. So let me finish reading. Uh, this is the, let me read on. It says, and thou shalt have no other God before me. Uh, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in earth beneath, or that is in the waters underneath. Listen. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation to them that hate me. Now, you got to understand, God is saying, God is saying that you who worship these things hate him. And uh, he said that he will send, allow a curse to come on you to your third or fourth generation of children. I mean, that's a long time, you know, because God said you are hating him because you are worshiping these other gods. Because that's what it is. When you're doing the Zodiac and all this other stuff, and I know a lot of people really study and really get into these things, and they really believe in these things, but you are turning away from your creator. And that's what the enemy wants you to do. The devil, he wants you to worship anything other than God. And like I said, that is a form of worship. You get up every morning, read your Zodiac, and say, okay, i got to do what the Zodiac says, you know. You're worshiping something other than your creator. The zodiac, those stars, again, are created by God. They're for your pleasure. You can enjoy them at night, you know, but, but uh, you're not supposed to worship them. We're supposed to worship the creator, not those things that are created. And that's what the devil wants to do. He wants to get you uh, out of pocket. He wants to get you not serving God, and he got multiples of ways to try to draw you in. So you need to ask God for forgiveness. Say, God, forgive me for uh, believing in these zodiac things and and doing all the stuff. You know, we buy the the emblems to put around our necks or tattoo our body with our supposed to be our sign and all this. The Bible says the sign, your sign, is the sign of man. All right, that's your sign. You know, but this thing right here, this zodiac, will cause you to, man, it'll cause you not to be in, going to heaven because you're an enemy of God. You're disobedient unto God. So God asking you, repent. Repent of your sins. Repent of these things, people, of this zodiac. Like I said, I wasn't going to go in detail 
about all the history and everything about it, but know that this is not God's will for you. God's will for you is to seek his face, to get on your knees and to pray and ask him. He the one created you. He has a plan for your life. He has a design for everything for you. He, he gave you a gift. A lot of you don't know what your gifts are. He gave you a purpose. A lot of you don't know what your purpose is, you know, but he gave you all of these things. All these things is in him. It's not in the zodiac. Not in the zodiac. Well, praise the Lord. Here, let me pray for you. Father, we ask that you would touch everyone. Lord, that you would give them a mind to repent of their sins, oh God. Just like I did, Lord, when I found this out. Lord, to repent of the zodiac, doing the zodiac, reading the zodiac. Lord, give them a harsh desire, oh God, to seek your face. Lord, to find out your will for their life, Lord. And Lord, help them right now. If there's any demonic activity that has in it through this zodiac, I command that spirit right now out. I command you out, out of them right now. I command zodiac signs, zodiac, Leo, whatever the sign may be, whatever your name be, may be out. I command you out of them right now. I command you leave them right now. I command you to go. I command you out. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. Well, like I said, I'm Pastor Andrew Alexander. I'm the pastor of Healing Word Church in Bandera, Texas. Uh, we're about 30 minutes, well, maybe an hour. Depends on where you are in San Antonio. About an hour north in, uh, in the hill country. And uh, if you need some deliverance, that means you have... Uh, or exorcism. I mean, it's, they're pretty much the same word. Uh, if you need some deliverance, uh, something going on in your life, something stubborn, and you know is demonic in nature, and you say, man, what is this thing? You know, something touching you at night, sexual dreams, uh, things moving in your house, seem like you're constantly having accidents and stuff like that. Contact us. Come to the church. Come to the church. Let's talk, and let's work this thing out. So if you need some healing for your body, you got sickness, disease, whatever it is, uh, it, it, it don't, it's nothing too hard for God to heal. Come to the church because we have healing service every Sunday. We have deliverance every Sunday. I can't do a long deliverance and everything because I'm renting the place, but we have a short deliverance. And if I know what's going on, maybe we can hit that thing that's going on with you or heal your body. You blind and can't see, come and be healed. If you hear, if you got ears and cannot hear anything, come and be healed. You know, you got something going on in your body, uh, some kind of sickness, some kind of disease, whatever it is, come and be healed. God will perform this act for you. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, praise the Lord. Like I said, uh, hit the bell, subscribe, like, share it, and, uh, and I look forward to seeing you. Remember, we're in Bandera, Best Western, 711 Main Street, 11 a.m. All right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.